The need is pretty apparent. I, as a clinical coordinator, see massive numbers of patients coming in requiring specialized care. And the need is that we have trained forensic nurses that are able to receive these patients and provide that exceptional care with a trauma-informed lens. Forensic nursing can wear a number of hats. Yes, there are death investigators, there are accident um, investigators, there are, are ones that work in the uh, prison system. And then there are nurses like me who, uh, when somebody reports interpersonal violence, I'm called in to see that person at the hospital. Forensic nurses provide safe, compassionate, therapeutic support service to individuals. And really their focus is around collecting that thorough, comprehensive medical history around the events that happened, and then being able to use that to guide the examination that happens. Island Health provides forensic nursing in every emergency department and urgent care facility across Vancouver Island and all a patient has to do is go in and ask to see a forensic nurse and they will consult and refer the patient to our program. When we see a patient who's been sexually assaulted and or in domestic violence situations, we actually get to work one-on-one -on -one with them. Whereas if you were in an emergency department, you would be one of five to 10 patients for one nurse. And we actually have the time and the ability to sit down and do more of an in-depth conversation with you. I'm here for them. I'm here to provide a service that, um, that they are comfortable with. They can tell me as much as they want. They can tell me as little as they want. People are a bit nervous to say that they've had a sexual assault or that this is going on. They don't want anyone to know. Our services are confidential. We don't share th that information with anyone else without folks' consent. You have three options for care. The first one is to do medical examination only, and that means top to bottom. We'll discuss sexually transmitted diseases. We'll discuss injury. And, and the care that might be required. That's, that's your first option. Your second option is for me to take samples for the judicial system and make a report for them. They don't have to report immediately to police. There's ways in which we can collect evidence and store it until they're ready to come forward to police, if, if ever. Many people don't um, have to have a forensic exam. At the end of, of my time with them, um, I will have offered them services uh, beyond what we have in the emergency department. I will also ensure that if they need the social worker, they're connected to the social worker, that we have, they have a safe place to go to when they leave me. And, and they have a safe way to get there, and, and I can arrange for all of those things. Because it's such an underreported thing that happens, so we want people to come to us to get the help that they need. We are really grateful for the team effort, our relationship with the forensic nurses and all of the staff in the emergency department because we know how we work together as a team um, makes a difference in the lives of survivors. And you hope at the end of the day, the time you spend with that patient, that they leave on a healing journey. That's their first step. Their visit with us is their first step to healing.